Well, hi there. What we have here is a 100 watt solar panel that we've set up and mounted to a small wooden uh, frame that makes it lightweight and movable. Uh, we've got it connected to about, I don't know, about 15 foot uh, 10 gauge uh, solar panel line. And then we've got that connected to a 300 watt grid tie inverter that we got on eBay for about 160 bucks. The panel itself, I think, was about 110 delivered. So you got your positive and negative end for your solar panel on one end and then a power um, uh, line on the out. This allows you to tie into your house grid when not trying to charge batteries with the system. So we've got it plugged into a kilowatt meter, into a surge protector, into an outside outlet. We're just using this during the day when it's not raining. I am looking for a way to either make it waterproof or to put the solar panel on the outside and the electronics on the inside. So you can see here with our meter, it's about four o'clock in the afternoon in the northeast in September and we're getting about 51 watts right now um, obviously if I move the panel around you can do a little better but again due to inefficiencies etc we're only gonna get so much this is a very small system it's 100 watts into a 300 watt inverter so eventually we're gonna build a pedestal that we can rotate and move towards the Sun we're gonna add two maybe one or two more 100 watt panels because due to inefficiencies, the 300 watt inverter, we're not gonna actually ever get there with this 100 watt panel. Right now we're getting about half of what the panel's capable of. This panel is about eight years old and it was just sitting in the shed. So I decided to pull it out and put it to use to save a few bucks again. And I do mean a few bucks on our electric grid. This, is, this grid tie inverter allows you to send some juice back into your own house grid. If there's a power outage, you definitely wanna unplug this um, and again, this isn't a lot of uh, watts or a lot of power we're talking about here. It's a 100 watt panel. But if we added two more and use that grid tie inverter, we'd be sending, you know, 280 watts into the system, which would, you know, help us a great deal more. It's also a lot bigger, um, you know, and this is again designed to be small. So what we're going to be looking to do is to try to make this portable, maybe mount it on a cart or something like that, waterproof the electronics and so we can use it in the winter. Otherwise, maybe mount the panel up on the roof for my shed and uh, put the electronics in there uh, on the inside. Um, but for right now, it's just a sunny afternoon in September, so I decided to set the panel up and uh, save a little bit of energy. And again, at four o'clock, we're pulling in about 52 watts. Not a lot of power, but it's something. So if you're looking to do a simple portable system, this is one way to do it. Um, you would need a different inverter if you're trying and a charge controller if you are trying to um, charge batteries. This is not that. This is a grid tie. We're sending power back into the house grid. Uh, just a small amount to try to uh, cut down on the amount of power we're pulling from uh, the uh, electric company. So again, thanks for watching. That's our simple 100 watt grid tie inverter system uh, for uh, generating some solar power for uh, your electric bill. Thanks for watching.